Let's open up the iPad. Let's go to iStop Motion today on iPad 365. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad a play. Today I'm going to take a look at a way that you can create stop motion video using your iPad. And we'll talk about that in a second. First of all, I want to let you know the Twitter handle is iPad365. And of course, the uh, email is show at ipad-365.com. Go over there and suggest an app, suggest a product. If you've got a product that you want me to see, I just got an email right before I started these shows. I'll take a look at them and I'll show them to you and, and, and give you a review on that. All right, well today we're gonna take a look at an application. I actually looked at this application on Mac because there's a Mac version and there's an iPad version and it's really cool. And I even broke out my 3GS for this demonstration. And I'm gonna show you why I'm, I did that uh, very shortly. The program is called iStop Motion. It's a stop motion video program. So if you ever want to do claymation, if you ever wanted to do, you know, something simple, the stop motion, uh, maybe something to put up on Vine, maybe something to put up on uh, up on YouTube or something like that, get into your creative side with uh, clay stick figures, whatever, even even drawings, you can use iStop Motion. It's actually very straightforward. You hit the plus button and you've, you can create your new iStop Motion clip. Now, of course, it brings up the camera. As you can see, you're seeing the, the mess over there. I can choose that camera. I can also choose through the settings. I can choose that camera, or I can go up to the camera area, and I can say, I want the front camera, or I want the remote camera. So we'll hit Done here. We'll go to the, the camera again, and we'll hit Remote Camera. Now, this is where the iPhone 3GS comes in. You can get the app and it does work on previous versions of iOS. This is uh, 6.1.3 if I remember correctly. So I just have to turn it on, slide to unlock, have it fully charged, and I've connected it up. And now it says that it's waiting for a connection. So basically, I bring up the remote camera and now my iPhone is the remote camera, which is pretty cool. So now, I, and, and what's even cooler about this is I could be walking around with this device and I could be snapping pictures. Somebody could be at the iPad and snapping pictures as well. So let's do a quick little stop motion. I'm just gonna use what I've got here on the table. I've got this screwdriver. I had a penny before when I did the Mac version. So I'm gonna put this on the side right before it goes into, uh, into frame. Now. Once I've chosen my camera, I've got to choose my focus, my exposure, and my white balance. That way, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get out of focus if I'm moving things around. As you can see, if I put my hand in here, it's going to try and refocus for the hand. As I move the hand back, it'll try and refocus that. So I'm going to make a focus spot. I'm going to make a, an exposure spot. And I'm going to make a white balance spot. And then I'm going to lock this. And once it's all done, I'm going to lock it up, and I'm going to say done. Now it doesn't, it won't change from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first picture and we're going to use a screwdriver here. And just simple, it's going to slide across the screen just like that. And we're going to start right here for the first picture. So I, all I have to do is hit the button and I'll take the first HD image. I can bring in the uh, screwdriver into frame, take another picture. I can move the screwdriver into frame, take another picture. Now here's the cool thing. I'll move the screwdriver once again. I can take a picture from here. Of course, it's gonna be a really jumbled mess because I'm holding the camera. I could actually set this up so it stays still as I go, but I can move the camera. I'll take a picture. Move it. Take a picture. I'll move it this way. Take a picture. And take a picture and take a picture and take it and continuing on from there i'll just do it really quick as you can see so i could be snapping pictures somebody could be back at the ipad snapping pictures and we could get a full uh full motion uh, uh time lapse here so when we're all done we can hit the play button it's going to figure it out and there you go that is the screwdriver moving stop motion that i just did off of this video and granted, it's not going to be the best quality because we, we kind of did it on the fly. But a lot of people have been doing a lot of cool stop motion videos with their, uh, with their, their system here. So we go to the gallery 
and we can actually go into the theater. And loading the theater, you can see what other people are making for stop motions. Like this one, the Titanic disaster, gorilla movements, uh, where there's a gorilla moving around the screen. Let's, uh, let's see this uh, for a couple seconds. They put some the theatrical stuff in there, some intros and stuff like that. And then, of course, you can see this gorilla moving around. Pretty cool. You can submit your clip when you're done. Of course, this clip is not going to go up anywhere, or the clip that I did with the uh, Mac version. But you could have a lot of fun with it. And with the Mac version, you can actually do a time lapse. So you could actually set up a webcam and have it take a picture every five seconds as the day progresses. For here, you can, you can actually do a time lapse. There's my face. So now I can actually say, I want to do a time lapse. So I'm going to choose time lapse. I'm going to say every second I want you to take a picture. So we'll do that and we'll hit the button. And of course we're done. And of course when I hit the play button you see the screwdriver and then of course me doing all that funky stuff right there. If you wanted to just do that, you create a new version and, and, and go from there. But anyway, you got some stop motion and you can have just a lot of fun with, uh, with uh, creating stop motion. You use the Mac side, there's a lot of other, there's extra functionality to that. And like I said, as long as I'm on the same Wi-Fi segment, um, I should be able to run around the house if I wanted to and take pictures. Um, or, you know, just like I said, a ta time lapse of the day, watch the sun go down, sun come up, or, or whatever you need to do. The name of the program is called iStop Motion. It's by Boinks Software. It's $9.99 for the app. Of course, the Mac version's a little bit more. You get a little bit more out of it as well. And have, so you can have a lot of fun making stop motion videos. You can check it out, iStop Motion for iPad by Boinks Software. Alright, that's this episode of iPad 365. What'd you think of iStop Motion for iPad? Are you going to do some iStop, uh, some stop motion stuff? Are you looking at that type of video? It's looking pretty cool and, and of course I've got a couple videos out there uh, already for the Mac. If you've got a product that you want me to take a look at or just wanted to say hi, Twitter me, iPad365 is the Twitter handle. Of course, show at iPad-365.com is the email address you can send to uh, where you suggest any products or, or even if you have an item that you want me to take a look at, I will do so. We will be back uh, with another episode of iPad 365. I'll have another cool app uh, for you to take a look at. Until then, you guys geek out and uh, make some stop motion and bring back your 3GS. That worked too, right?